welcome back to my channel. My name is Char for those of you who are new here and for those of you who are returning, welcome back. You will real one. Hold it down for the Emmy, okay? That was so weird. I feel like I'm always the weirdest and the creepiest in my intros. I do not know what, what's wrong with me. I think it's just the excitement of talking to you guys and like making content for y'all and just, you know, getting to hang out with you. I think I just get a little overwhelmed, you know. But yeah, welcome back. I am super excited to finally be doing this video. And I just, oh, yes. I just love when things like this happen. This is the first time I'm gonna be doing a video like this. If you can tell from the title down below, I am gonna be doing the very first official series here on my channel. I'm going to be doing a hunt for series. If you don't know what that is, it is basically where I'm gonna be testing out different brands for the same product. So I'm looking for something specific. And what I'm gonna be hunting for this year is the best press powder. So basically, like I said, what that is, is I'm gonna be trying out a bunch of different press powders on my channel and rating them and then at the end of the year I will tell you which press powder I liked the best. I am so excited to do this. I actually got inspired because I actually got inspired to do this video because I do have really dry skin. I think I've said that a million times on my channel and so I can't use loose powder. Loose powder cracks my skin, it makes it dry, it makes it flake, it's disgusting. Like my skin, hold on. Sorry, I always burp on the videos too. I don't know what that's about. Gross. My skin is dry, it's crackly, my skin will literally be screaming for water. It is super frustrating, it is a mess, it is so hard for me to find something that really works for me. And so, last year I was able to get my hands on one really amazing powder that really worked for me and did everything that I needed it to do. I ran out of this pressed powder actually like around New Year's and I was like, you know what? I really should try a new powder. This one has been great, it has been good to me all year long. But I think I want to branch out and do something different and that is when I decided to do a search for a hunt because I felt like there's so many out there for loose powders like what is the best loose powder? What's the best to bake with? But I feel like I've never seen one and if I there are some out there please let me know in the comments down below because I definitely check them out. But I haven't seen any for, for press powders or press foundations whatever you want to call it. Just something that I can use to set my face because I can't bake. And I really was just thinking like, wow, it would be really cool for me to do that on my channel to find a really good one and give you guys that information and that hookup because I know a lot of people don't know how to bake, don't want to bake, don't have time to bake, whatever the reason is, or just for like me, don't really like loose powder because of flashback or whatever the issue is. So I feel like this would be super helpful. So I decided to turn my journey and my search and my struggle into something that's going to be useful, fun, and helpful for you guys. So let's... Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm like super excited. So I did pick up one and I'm not going to tell you the one that I used before because I'm going to add it into this series later on. But yeah, like I said, I'm really excited to go ahead and get into this because I really do want to show you guys the tea. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up if you were excited for this Hunt For series on my channel. If you're also a pressed powder preferer, preferer? as well. If you guys want more of the brown skin goodiness, make sure to not only hit that like button, but also subscribe to my channel and join the gang. Gang, it is always lit here on my channel. I have so many great videos, and I want you guys to be a part of that. I love making content for you guys, and by liking my videos and subscribing, it lets me know that you guys are picking up what I'm putting down, and it, you know, it's like a good way to show me that you guys are enjoying the content, because I want to make content that you guys actually enjoy, that we can share and have fun doing together. We are a family on this channel. We are comfortable, we are confident, we are unique, and I want you guys to have access to all of that all this greatness and everything that we do here I want it to be a mutual you know mutually exciting so make sure you go ahead and do both those things as well if you think that I am a brown skin goddess and you cannot get enough of this brown skin goodiness and I wouldn't blame you I do have social media xo underscore cnt on snapchat instagram and twitter link up with me on all of those social medias I do snapchat and makeup tutorials I talk look details I talk I talk. I do looks and look details on Instagram, and I also am really linked up with the beauty community on Twitter. So I'm going to talk. I talk product. I give my opinions. I talk to brands, and I talk to y'all. And we can really get down and talk makeup on there. So definitely get linked up with me on all of my social media. Let's get into it, cause I I can't wait. Okay, so I've already done pretty much my eye makeup. I didn't want to do too much, only because I just. It's a day off for me. I'm just chilling. I don't feel like doing all of that. And I did my face makeup, eyebrows. You can clearly see that. So what I now do is I'm going to do my concealer. 
and then we're gonna put this powder on. So what I want to be looking for with my powder, my breath talking too fast. So what I am looking for with this powder, I need this powder to do a few things. I need it to maintain the quality of my concealer. I am using the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer, so it's a pretty expensive high-end concealer. So I want any powder that I use to maintain the quality of it. I don't want it to make the concealer seem cheap or look bad. I don't want it, I want it to prevent creasing as best as it can. I am a little bit more lenient with creasing, but the point is to find one that doesn't do it at all or very, 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 very minimally. So I'm looking for something that doesn't crease. I'm looking for something that highlights that you know sets really really well like I do on my not only creasing but just moving in general and I also want something that mattifies without drying so those are what I'm looking for those five things maintaining the quality no creasing brighten slash highlights mattifies doesn't dry doesn't dry me out so those are five key things I look for with all of my powders you may have different requirements but those are what we're going to be checking here so I'm going to put it on give it some time do some things today and then we'll come back and rate the powder at the end and we're going to rate it in all five of those categories see how well it holds up for those and then we'll give like an overall score out of one to ten bases and I'm going to rate them like between like one to five per category to make it like less confusing if that makes sense so I'm going to go ahead and put on my concealer I'm going to go ahead and apply this so I bring it down a little bit only because I don't want creasing down here either. So I'm getting a little bit because I put this on quite a little bit ago. I'm not going to lie. I had to set up. Okay, so we're just going to do a little here. Now I don't like to put on a lot to highlight. So it's not like it's setting, you know, a bunch. Like there's a very minimal amount of concealer here. So it's like I'm not asking it to overwork itself because I don't it's this is such a light color that I feel like I don't need to put on a bunch because I it makes it too difficult to blend and then we're gonna here do a line here a line here and then a line here my concealer has been sitting for about three maybe two to five minutes somewhere in that range so we're about to blend it out and then we're gonna reveal this powder to y'all so let's go Sephora Matte Perfection Powder Foundation. So this isn't necessarily like a pressed powder for setting, but it is just an all-over face powder. But it still works. So we're going to open this up. This is the shade 44 Neutral Almond. This is what... Yeah, I don't like these. We're going to put that back. But yeah, this is what the shade of it is, if you guys can see. I tried to do this video yesterday if you're wondering why it's used. But I went to go see a movie and ended up crying my eyes out, so that did not work so I have used it but I have been able to test out the quality of it so I'm going to use a real technique point foundation brush to put this on I like this because it can really press it into my skin but also these like angles here make it easy to get under the eye area in like small corners so I'm just going to take that and we're going to take small amounts at a time that's why I like to apply my powder small amounts at a time starting in the eye area which is not blended properly Okay, so we're just going to press that in, and I really, I really hit it under the eyes, okay y'all, like I really do. So I like, like I said, this I really like this brush, I can get under there, and this brush also, if there is pre-creasy from the concealer, it really smooths it out while I press it in. So it's like it's not getting any crease. It's flattening out the crease and then setting, if that makes sense. Probably not. One thing I am noticing about this powder is that it's kind of a cool tone, which I don't prefer, but they do have plenty of other shades I can use to highlight with. I'm gonna post the link to four websites so that if you are interested in trying it, you can see what shades they have that'll work for you. Cause like I said, this is a powder foundation, so you may be able to use this for other things like contouring, or if you are a powder foundation person, you may want to try this out just in general for yourself. As an all over face powder, just kind of depends on what you're into. Press that in small amounts at a time. I know it seems like I'm using a lot, but I'm like I said, taking just very small amounts at a time. 
so I don't, so the key for me, like I said, because I have dry skin, is I have to press it on lightly because I don't want to put on way too much at one time in one area and then get dried out. Concern, I mean, it's clearly going to highlight because it's such a, such a, it's so much more lighter, it's so much lighter than my foundation, so I know that it will highlight, but my concern is if this is the right shade, and I'm not going to fault it for it being the wrong shade though, because that's my fault. There was plenty of other choices. I just picked a random one that looked right. Okay, I have a little way to work out here. Okay, okay. Cool. So this is what it looks like upon first application. Like I said, the color I don't really prefer. I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and come back and let y'all see what it looks like after maybe sitting for about five to ten minutes, because that's always a good indicator. I want to see if it can even hold up from an initial application, and then we'll see what happens from there. So my first impression, I do not currently have any creasing under the eye and it's been like 20-30 minutes. I went put my makeup on, had a conversation with my mom and everything. So initially I don't have any creasing. It definitely mattified, so a check mark for that. We'll see if it stays this way. I do have dry skin though, so I'm pretty, pretty sure it will. Um, so that's good. So I think we can give that already going off, starting off great for that. The color actually, I end up liking it with my full face. I feel like on its own it looks really pink. But I feel like it just really, it worked out, it worked out. I am putting a little creasing down my mouth, but I didn't take the powder this far down, so I won't, I don't want to just cut it there. If it were like more up at the top here in this area, I'd be mad because you guys saw me put it up here. I didn't go all the way down here, but I definitely should have now that I'm looking at it. Um, What else, what else? Like I see where my powder is trying to crease, but the powder is kind of like trying to combat that, so we'll see how well that holds up. I'm not going to touch it. But it's like, there is a line trying to form, but I think my powder is doing a good job of, at blending that um, fold. So I'm really excited about that. So that, that's a good sign to me. That's a good sign. I don't know if that made sense, but the powder is doing what it's supposed to be doing, which is, sorry, which is good for me. So it's about six o'clock, so I'll probably come back, uh, let's see, maybe do five hour wear test, maybe back at 11, 12-ish. We'll see, maybe 10. So we'll just give it, we'll give it a couple hours. Cause I feel like you can really tell something's gonna work within the first like, 10 hours so i feel like if you can't even hold up for a good 5 to 10 then you probably aren't even that great to begin with i feel like once you get like 12 up with hour wise and last in elasticity i feel like that's when you're like okay wow this is like amazing but i feel like just a good initial first impression you can see that it's trying to combat the creasing it's matte the color actually worked out pretty well for me um and i'm liking it i'm liking it and my concealer like it's not changing, it didn't change the quality of my concealer so far, so far. This is the first impression. So, I'm really liking it, but I haven't even had it on an hour, so we'll see what happens. I will check back in with you guys later. Wish me luck, y'all. This is only the second powder I've ever used, and I want this first one to go really, really well. So, fingers crossed, prayers up, we'll see what happens. Eight hours later. All right, y'all, so it is now... 1.42. One forty-two. So basically, it, this is one forty-two a.m., not p.m. I put my makeup on, put the powder on at six, almost six twenty, almost six thirty p.m., and it is now almost two a.m. So we are going on what six to seven, seven to eight, eight to nine, nine to ten, ten to eleven, eleven to twelve, twelve to one. I have this powder on for now, almost eight full hours, and so I'm just gonna give y'all. This is what it looks like. I'm actually really, really impressed. So one thing that I noticed is that I did end up creasing all the way in this area. In my first impressions, I can't remember if I said this or not, but I only put the powder on the top of my smile lines. So down here, I'm not gonna fault it for, but then it ended up creasing all the way through. So I said I was gonna break this down into the categories. So I'm gonna stop, you know, gushing over it and just go ahead and do that so you guys can see. So the first category that I'm going to rate this on is upholding the quality of my concealer on a scale of one to five. I'm gonna give it a five for that. It definitely upheld the quality of my concealer. It did not change the color of my concealer. It did not make my concealer look less full coverage. It did not, you know what I'm saying? It made the concealer did not change and it did not change the consistency of it, the texture of it, the color of it when I put it on at all whatsoever. It just sat on top and did its job. The second thing I wanted to do was highlight under the eye, which, will highlight and brighten. Mm, what do you give it for? So for highlighting and brightening, I'm gonna give it a three. The only reason I'm gonna give it a three is because, I mean, I kinda it's hard to tell because I think I could've picked a lighter color. 
Um, but even then, I feel like it may have been just a little too much. I just feel like the powder, in comparison to the powder I was using before this one, I just feel like the other one was a lot more brightening. This brightens because it's lighter than my skin tone, not because it's actually brightening under my eye. The next category is if it's mattifying, I am going to give it a 5 out of 5. I definitely didn't get, you know, any weird issues with it not like I said I have dry skin so I pretty much knew that this was going to stay the same as my first impression because I have dry skin so I don't actually have issues with things becoming oilier throughout the day. Okay so creasing. Creasing we're going to give it a four out of five. I'm taking off the point for this for my smile lines. Like I said even though I didn't put a bunch in there there's still enough down here that the parts there I did still put some on there a little bit and even the parts that I put on there still creased. For the under eye, literally looks the exact same. I said there's a natural fold there, so I know that powder or no powder, there may be some stuff there, but just in general, it held up pretty well. Even in that area, while it did fold, you the conce it doesn't look like there's concealer creasing. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's really sitting on top of that and not sitting in there or smearing around it. The fifth and final thing that I'm gonna rate this pressed powder on is if it dried me out or not. I am going to give it a 4 out of 5 for that. I'm giving it this rating because when I first put it on I felt my face get a little tight. However, after applying my setting spray, which is a dewy setting spray, it did set into the skin and like loosen up and it wasn't as tight and dry. It is a very honest and true rating because like I said, I have dry skin. You're not about to have me going out looking sad. So it's just like when it comes to being dry, I do not play that. So anything that makes me feel even the slight bit dry, I'm not, I'm not having it. But this, like I said, after putting a dewy setting spray on top of it, it melts into the skin and it did what it's supposed to do. I didn't have to worry about it being too, too tight or being like heavy or anything like that. But those are my ratings for my five categories of things that I personally look for in a pressed powder. And so I feel like the overall rating on a scale of one to 10, based on what I said, I would give it an eight out of 10. I feel like that is a really good rating. I think that this powder did a very good job. I will link it down below where you can get it from the Sephora website. I only paid 20 bucks for, I think 22 after tax. And I got it at the Sephora store and there was a lot of different shades. I want to look on the Sephora website for you guys. So this is the Matte Perfection Powder Foundation from Sephora. It is $20. They have, whoa, they have a lot of shades. 35 shades. Their darkest shade is called Mocha Java. Um, in the picture, this is what it looks like. I don't know how dark this will be in person, but just from the website, this is the darkest color. It's four out of five stars from the Sephora website. So the details for this, it is a hybrid powder foundation with a creamy texture for a natural matte finish. And I will definitely agree with that. It is very creamy. So it does, so this is what it does. This unique powder foundation has a creamy texture that creates a flawless matte finish. Featuring flex matte technology, the formula moves through your skin for ultimate comfort and weightless coverage. You can build to your preferred level. It doesn't crack, cake, or feel suffocating. It's an idea makes a buildable, breathable, lightweight and long wearing natural natural and matte. So the bonus is finding the right shade for your skin tone is easy. This comes with 35 shades and it's not tested on animals. So I feel like it definitely does everything that it says that it does on the website. I definitely agree that it is lightweight, it is buildable for coverage, it is comfortable, it is weightless, and it does give you a flexible matte finish. I really liked it and I feel like the shade range is pop. So I definitely recommend this powder for y'all. I am so glad that my first my first powder in my search for hunt for the perfect for the best pressed powder actually turned out pretty well. This gives me hope for this series and now it sets the bar pretty high. That is super exciting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I am so proud of the way this video turned out. I have so much motivation now to keep this series going for the entire year. I think this is a great start. Excuse me. I plan to maybe do one powder a month so that we can do 12 powders over the entire year. So I expect you guys to hold me accountable for that. So this was the January powder and it turned out great. So next month in February we will see what happens. <laughs> if you liked this video, give it a huge thumbs up. I would love to know how you guys like this first 
video in this series and like I said in my intro if you subscribe to the gang gang and become part of the fam as well as give this video a huge thumbs up and hitting that like button it lets me know that you guys are picking up what I'm putting down and like I said we are a family over here I want to make sure that you guys feel as comfortable as confident as unique as I want you to feel and as I feel and I want to make sure that we're on the same page all the time so definitely leave comments do all that your feedback is super important to me like I said I don't just do this for myself I do this for y'all as well and if you think that I am a brown skin goddess, which, why wouldn't you? I don't blame you if you do. And you can't get enough of me. You're obsessed with me like I'm obsessed with myself. Then we can be friends. We can be pals. I have social media. XO underscore CNT on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Blitter. I post Snapchat tutorials for makeup on my Snap. I post looks and look details on Instagram. And I talk beauty. I talk products. I talk everything makeup related on Twitter so definitely get linked up with me there we can talk we can chat we can be friends we can link up everywhere so definitely do that like I said in my video it is almost 2 a.m. I have homework that I still haven't done and I have a quiz tomorrow so I gotta go y'all I gotta, I gotta get my life together night thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in the next one I'm sorry baby but we only sweat the chase so honestly baby you can be both sides like you playing with regret yeah. playing with this size like you playing with a chair